Hello everyone, welcome back to Super Mario World Let's Play I'm Iwa Madoki And today we're probably going to finish off the Vanilla Dome With Vanilla Dome 4 and Vanilla Dome's castle Which is, but is held captive by one of the Koopalings Why is it held captive? I don't know I guess they have a hostage and either way, this stage, there's a bullet bill generator. Which means, bullet, will, bullet bills will just start shooting at you. At random. Um, a little advice. Hold a shell in front of you. If a bullet bill is about to make a direct impact, you'll just block it with your shell. You can of course use the bullet bills to bounce higher. To avoid using those bouncy things, since they're annoying. Or to get that midpoint in case you miss because it's pretty hard to jump to, I guess. And I believe there's a secret in this pipe. Which will lead to more skull rats. And coins. Uh, this is just a little bit of a... Of a hazard course. Something in skull rats. Oh, you have to go... Duck under it! What a twist! Duck under, jump over, duck under. It's like this game is testing my skills. <clears throat> Either way, we're back here. And... We're just going to use the cape to skip everything. Well, I believe there was... Um... I just guess I skipped, uh important part of the stage so I'll go, just go back and show it to you oh. guess it's not there well I guess I have to apologize for wasting your time uh, oh there it is the, it's a bit of a crossfire bullets going up and down and yeah that's pretty much what the last part of the stage is wait let's go for the top and miss it again by a pixel. If you get 50 on the pull on the golf post, then you'll also just get a life or a tree. I don't remember what your reward was. I remember it being a life reward, but was I had one life or three lives? But again, this stage, it doesn't really need any life. Well, this game, the life rewards aren't that important since it's pretty easy if you're a bit, even a bit experienced with platformers. But let's go beat up Lemmy and see who is the actual owner of the castle since I said he had a hostage. Because he was holding the castle captive. This stage will introduce Kamek, well, a magic Koopa. And the Magic Koopa will transform bricks, well, blocks, to enemies, coins, twimps, and other objects. You can defeat the Magic Koopa. You can also escape that first part by spin jumping. Then you will have to spin jump your entire way to here because there's no safe place. The Magic Koopa can be defeated by being jumped on, uh, having a block removed under it. And if you save this B switch. You can use it to go to that secret door. Well, not so secret, but it's otherwise um, not. An, you're otherwise unable to enter. It contains a midpoint and an extra life. Otherwise, you'll have to do this stage in one go without midpoint. And the second part of the stage, it it's a bit of a remind. It's a bit of a castle of the second world, but instead of the platforms being horizontal. It's all the platforms move vertically. So it also dips into the lava. And there's potaboos. So you just be careful. If you see you see you're not going to make it, try to find a safe spot. Like here. And just be careful. You can touch the boiling part of the lava, 
but if you touch the block under it, then you'll lose lose a life. Uh, because the boiling part does not have a hurt hit box. So you can save yourself a bit if you're about if you you have some time to save yourself, that's what I'm getting. Now we're going to fight Lemmy! Lemmy will come out of the pipe with two decoys, just hit the right one. And the Potaboo is just there to be annoying. He can only be hit on certain frames. If you're standing on it, if you jump on him a bit too early, you might not damage him and get damaged yourself like I just showed there. And with that, we've beaten Lemmy Koopa. And what was he holding hostage? The Potaboo, it was the Potaboo's castle. Nah, we just saved another egg from Lemmy. We're going to hammer his castle down to the ground. Mario has triumphed over Lemmy Koopa of castle number 3. Mario's quest is starting to get much more difficult. Have you found the red and green switches yet? In fact, we did. Either way, this will lead to world number 4. Which doesn't... Does it have a name? Well, the levels don't really have a name. Well, at least the levels have a more original name here. It's not just... Oh, it's Donut Plains 1. Oh, it's Vanilla Dome 3. No, we're in the Cheese Bridge area. The Cheese Bridge area... Is a bridge area high above the ground. And it will introduce these saws and these platforms. They will, all of those will follow the lines you see here. You can spin jump on the saws, making them a bit easier. And it's pretty much, well, this stage is pretty much waiting and dodging. Waiting and dodging. If you if you're still running the top path, you can get to the midpoint, but you can just easily jump to it. And this place will would be a dead kind of a dead end. Well, this place is hard with Yoshi, so hitting this block will cause wings to appear. Well, well, if you have a Yoshi and touch those wings, you will be taken to a bonus area, and your Yoshi will be turned blue. And it, yeah, you can collect a lot of coins in the bonus area, and if you fall to the ground in the bonus area, you'll instantly finish this stage. There's no real way to finish the bonus area. And the final part of the stage is just moving over these, moving up and down between these saws. But the more harder part about the stage is the secret exit. Because, see that arrow sign behind the normal up and down bar of the end goal post? There's a secret up. Uh, there's a secret behind there. But how do you get to that secret? Well, first off, we're gonna need a jo Yoshi. So, I'll see you when I get one. Now that we're at this stage with a Yoshi, you... You'll have to keep him until the second half of the stage. If you ever lose Yoshi, just start select. Because it will return you to the... To before you enter the stage, in the exact same stage, same power-ups and Yoshi. All you need to do is... Well, for the first part is just ride it out until the end. If you know the stage a bit and you... Well, you can take a ride on the saws. Hmm. I believe I can... I can make it! Yes, I can. Do not take those swings, because then you'll... Then you'll just take the normal exit. Just travel to the end with Yoshi. And then here comes the hard part. You have to bounce over, you have to bounce on the saws to reach the end. 
and well I just made barely made it and now you have to be a dick you have to go under the goalpost and throw away Yoshi bye Yoshi there's a tree up moon here and the secret exit is just behind the normal exit which will lead to Soda Lake which we well I guess we'll be doing in the next episode then See you then.